Hey everybody, it's Miranda here from the Graphic 45 Design Team, and I've got a tutorial to share with you guys today on how I altered this cast iron skillet. And I'm using the French Country paper line to embellish with it. And I'm just placing the skillet down and then tracing around it to get my circle shape for the inside of it. And I will distress the edges of it up um, with a distressing tool just so it fits in there better. And I'm using Fabri-Tac adhesive to do so. Now I'm taking one of the metal drawer pulls and I'm using E6000 to adhere it down to the bottom. It was like the perfect shape to fit the bottom of the pan there. And I'm taking the coordinating flowers that come with the French Country line and these are so easy to use because they're already punched out for you and shaped. All I'm doing is inking the edges of them and then I'm going to take a paintbrush and curl them back just to give them a little bit more dimension. And I'm using frayed burlap distress ink and I use that on all of my paper edges on this. You can also spray your flowers with water before you curl them and it will make them stay much more curled than if you do it just dry. And I'm going to start adhering these together using Fabri-Tac and I'm just staggering the petals so they're not directly on top of each other. And I'm just going to do three layers here. And then I do end up putting a flat back pearl in the center of it. Now I'm taking one of the chipboard embellishments, the French Country line, and I'm placing it there in the center. What I'm going to make my skillet into is kind of like a faux clock. So that's going to be the backing for my clock face. And this is just a metal clock face for my stash, and it coordinates with the Graphic 45 staples pretty well. So I'm just using E6000 to adhere that down with. And I'm taking some of my leftover remnants from those chipboard, um, coordinating chipboards, to kind of make them serve as pop dots. It's a really good way to recycle and then you don't have to spend any money on, you know, dimensionals and stuff. So I'm just cutting them to size and putting them behind the little clock piece that I fussy cut. And again, I'm inking up the edges with frayed burlap distress ink. And I'm trying to figure out the placement for my flowers. I usually orient things to the right, but I wanted my clock hands to point at the four and the five, so I ended up putting it on the left side. And for the hands, I'm just using the Graphic 45 Ornate Keys from the Staples. And I just use one of the large ones and then the smaller one. And then I'm going to use one of the Graphic 45 Staples Stamped Metal Brads. And I take the prongs off of the back of it and just E6000 it to the center of the keys in just a minute. And I'm taking some May Arts ribbon here that we got in our design team package. And it's just like a really light brown and cream plaid ribbon, and it matches the paper perfectly. So I'm just tying a bow down here, and I always end up gluing my bow in place so it stays exactly the shape I want it to be. And I'll fishtail the bottom of the ribbons, and all you have to do is fold the ribbon in half and then cut it diagonally downward, and it will give you that nice clean um, fishtail look. I'm going to start adhering all my embellishments down. I'm just using hot glue for the flower because it's just paper to paper. And then I have a couple other flowers from my stash. This is like a peachish um, pink toned flower. I've got some lace here. It was a really vintage lace from my stash and I just ruffled it up together, kind of pleated it. And I'm tucking it behind the flowers just to give it a more shabby look. And these are some I Am Roses Lilies, and they're really, really pretty, so I'm just tucking them in the bottom and the top there. Okay, 
and pretty much the last thing I'm going to do is add a little dangle down to the bottom. Um, I love things that have movement to them, so I'm just going to use a Tim Holtz trinket pen and stick it through the center of the ribbon. And you'll see me here orienting things to the right, but I do end up moving them over to the left side after I'm done filming. Um, so if you saw the still shots at the beginning, you'll see that. And I'm just using some of the chipboard tags from the French Country line. Um, one of the ornate metal keys, one of the ornate metal key holes and just adhering them with jump rings to the trinket pin. And that is pretty much it for the tutorial, y'all. If you have any questions at all on anything I did, just leave me a comment down below, and I will get back to you. I will link the Graphic 45 blog in the description bar so you guys can go and check out more photos and my little description on there. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.